What is up, Keller Williams agents? My name is Sam Jackson, uh, your host of In Command with Sam on YouTube. And today, I wanted to share one of my favorite smart plans for this time of the year. And if you're watching this today, I'm talking about the end of the year, November, December. You can probably even get away with this tactic in January. But I wanted to share with you a smart plan that I've created a couple years ago. I actually started using this as a team leader uh, to go out and get missing contact information for anyone inside of my database. Now, anytime we're recording and we're talking about lead generating, I just want to say, make sure that you do this in a do not call registry friendly way or a TCPA friendly way. And now that's, that's out of the way, um, this is all about making sure that you have the right information so that you can make powerful touches to your database next year. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of cleanup, but um, I want to share a, a fun term that I've learned recently called um, GIGO. G-I-G-O, and that stands for garbage in, and you probably know where I'm going with this, garbage out. So if you have a bunch of garbage in your database, meaning like I may have a thousand contacts, but I'm missing 500 emails, or I'm missing 500 um, cell phone numbers, or the case may be, the goal is how do we get a complete contact record on every single person inside of your database? Now, it's going to be best by making those in one-to-one -one conversations, but I'm going to share with you a smart plan today that you can kind of use at the end of the year to get that contact information from anyone who's missing info in your database. So I'm guessing this is something of value that you would like today. Let's dig into it. We're going to jump right into smart plans inside of command. Now, the goal to not get shut down by YouTube, I'm going to show only fake contact information here. So hopefully we're not, we're not going to get doxxed. Uh, and yet I'm going to go straight into smart plans. I'm going to share this really cool smart plan with you. So we're going to skip the part of logging in command. Hopefully you know how to do that. But I want you to go down to smart plans, which is the one, two, three, fourth tool inside of command. And if you talk to Marty Miller, he thinks that looks like a diploma. I kind of agree. It's kind of silly though. But we're going to go into smart plans. I see a page with gears, but... Um, what I want you to do is if you are new to this tool or just in general, maybe new, new to KW, I want you to get familiar with the smart plan library. Um, so if you go and click on the library button up here in the top left hand corner, this will show you, I think we have more than 5,000 smart plans that have been shared across all of Keller Williams with you. And there's some really cool stuff. You can use the search bar to find all kinds of things from Facebook leads to open houses, whatever that you're looking for, there's a good chance it exists already inside the search bar. But what I'd like for you to do today is take a look at this smart plan. And I want you to change this from smart plan to author name. And I want you to look for me. I want you to look for Sam Jackson because I'm going to share the easiest way this smart plan today. But if you search for Sam Jackson, I'm looking for this third one in on my screen, which is missing contact information smart plan. And this says that it's a three touch smart plan to go after any missing contact information you have in a contact. And this is how it works. Go ahead and add it to your plan and you can rename it to anything you want, but I'm going to show you what this looks like. All right, cool. I already have that one. So that's why I got that error. So if I go back to my smart plans now, I can search for missing contact, and for you, it should be right at the top of your screen. And I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to show you what this one actually looks like. And this is what you're going to want to send to everybody in your database. So it's two touches, meaning that we're sending two types of media out, if you will, or two types of methods out to your database. It's an email and it's a text message. And we're starting with an email and the email subject is just, hey, getting caught up. And feel free to edit this. Just like I did today, you can click on the pencil icon and edit this. But this is uh, what it says. It says... Hey, and in command will insert contact first name. Hey, Sam, I'm just doing some cleanup for my contact information before the new year. My number one goal for next year is to get more organized. I just wanted to make sure this is the right information for you. Please let me know if anything needs to be updated. And then it says cell phone with two or with a, uh, a colon. It has an email with a colon and a home address with a colon with the parentheses or um, um uh, not parentheses, the, uh, the brackets that say, um, I'm so sorry, I can't believe I lost this info. And this is assuming you don't have their home address because uh, I know that agents that I work with, that's probably one of the pieces of information that we most often don't have on a contact. But the goal is, is that command where you see these um, green brackets for contact phone, contact email, will put whatever existing data that you have in place. 
So if you have an email, it'll put an email. If you're missing a cell phone number, that will just be a blank spot, which is perfect because our goal is that our clients will respond or our contacts will respond and give us the updated information that you'll then manually have to go back to the contact record and update. And then it just says, please let me know if you have, uh, if anything needs updated, if you're missing information you'd like to share, uh, I promise to only use this information for good. Uh, dash Sam Jackson. Oh, there's a little error there. Good thing we caught that. That should be the last name of your client. And to do that, you just click on, or this would be your last name rather, the merge fields, agent last name from Keller Williams. And you, again, you can change and put your own market center here. You can put more contact information here, kind of like your full email signature if you'd like. I highly recommend that. Uh, but for the sake of sharing this, this is what we have today. Cool. And then that will go out with a text message that says more or less the same thing. It says, hey, Sam, this is Sam Jackson. Oh, and again, I did the same thing there. I apologize. I will fix that. But I'm just giving you a lesson how to use merge fields. Make sure that you have those correct and double check it before you send it out. But it'll say, hey, Sam, this is Sam Jackson from KW. Uh, this is, this is if you're not familiar with this number, that's because this is from my work account. So for any, any of those who are using Twilio, uh, this is just kind of to address that. And then this is a dynamic text, meaning that a second message will go out that says, hey, nothing major. I just wanted to give a heads up. I sent an email to merge field. I just, uh, I'm just updating all my contacts and wanted to make sure that this is the best email to reach out to you. So again, if you're missing an email, that text message will get that email. If you already have their email address, that first email that we send out, this one right here, should get you good contact information such as a cell phone and hopefully a mailing address as well. Now, uh, I use this whenever as a team leader, uh, I used to use broker metrics to kind of go and recruit from. And what I found is that most agents had their work email attached to my broker metrics account. So whenever I went to go send them stuff, we didn't have spam. So I sent a message very similar to this and I didn't even have a personal relationship with a lot of those agents. And yet they responded with like, oh yeah, let me please give you uh, my updated info because I don't want you to reach me out my work when I don't read this that often. So this thing works. I've personally experienced it. Go out and use it with your database. But again, this one's very, very timely that this is like an end of the year, beginning of the year cleanup for this type of message to go out. So uh, now's the time to kind of send this maybe right after Thanksgiving in between the next holiday. Uh, but definitely by the end of January, you wanna get this smart plan out to every single person in your database, even if they are 100%, because you never know whenever someone's cell phone's number changes or they get an email or something like that. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Sam Jackson. And as always, stay in command. Thank you.